play that. <laughs> and now, Public Access presents Men on Films. Hello, I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Merriweather. And welcome to Men on Films. We're going to be reviewing the latest film from a male point of view. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Ben Gay. <laughs> touch it. <laughs> ben did. <laughs> Tonight we'll be wrapping up the summer films. First up is the box office smash Total Recall. Yes, this is the movie where muscle-bound Arnold Schwarzenegger goes in search of his past. Just a hint, Arnold. Try looking in the closet. <laughs> I also like 48 Hours. I'm telling you, what would Nick Nolte handcuff to that cute little chocolate brown Eddie Murphy's? Mm. Two men from different cultures mm -hmm. learning to love one another and depend on each other's full strength. It was like an all-male version of Jungle Fevers. I've got just two words to describe another 48 hours. Scrump chest. I'm through. So anyway, my favorite love story in video is Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this is a film about love and camping. But the movie really doesn't start off until they meet up with them little dirty hillbillies who teach these men about how to rough it in the great outdoors. Mm, just make me want to squeal like a pig. Now I'd like to talk about a film I've been anxiously waiting to see, Great Balls of Fire. I ain't gonna touch it. But the title alone gets two snaps up. Hi, I'm Vera Tamilo, and thanks for tuning in. You know, before I learned how to exercise properly, I was a poor excuse for a woman. Just look at those unsightly lumps of lard protruding from my sternum. I was so weak and frail back then, I couldn't even tear a telephone book in half. But I made that change, and you can too. So let's get busy burning off those bothersome bazoons. Come on, girls. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh-huh. That's right. Now this one. Just pull it. And pull it. Really pull it. Wow. That's going to be thorough in the morning. But it hurts so good. And you know what they say. No pain. No game. Cigarette, Johnny? No, I don't smoke, sorry. Stick around, bright boy. I'll teach you a few things. Oh, really? Well, uh, listen. My name is actually Eddie. Eddie, Johnny, kid, bright boy. It's a big world out there. What's in a name? Um, 
Listen, my man Steve told me a lot about you. He said you're a party girl and you kind of old-fashioned. Lies! Oh, lies, I tell you. Sure, maybe I hung around with the wrong crowd and skipped Sunday school, but I'm not old man. No, he said good things about you. He said that, you know, besides you looking good, he said that, you know, you worked at the 5 and 10, got a job ski, and, um, you know, you like old movies. Sure, I see a picture show now and again. It helps to pass the time when your heart's been broken in so many pieces it feels as though you'll never see the light of day. Hey, uh, why don't we just talk all this over over dinner and some movies or something? Oh, Johnny, you're a sweet kid. Yeah? But don't you see it'd never work? I'm no good for you, Johnny. I'd be trouble from the word go. Hell, my middle name is trouble. But not you, Johnny. You've got a shot at something really big. You're gonna make something of yourself. I'm gonna be somebody? Don't you see? We're from two different worlds. You're a real top draw, head of the list, cream of the crop. I'm nothing but a washed-up has-been working in a diamond dance saloon. Steve said you work at five or ten. Five and ten? Diamond dance? Can't you see, Johnny? I'm trying to knock some sense into that long hair of yours. I'm no good for you. No good, I tell you. Oh, Johnny, you deserve that stone cottage with the white picket fence and the shady oak tree. If you stick around with me, kid, they'll ruin your life just like they've ruined mine. Hey, look, is it the black and white thing? <laughs> because you should have said that up front. All right, Johnny. You forced me to say it. I hate you. I better get out of here, because you can't be hitting a brother like that. Now, when we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. And now you've got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. Rocky, I know this is your big comeback. And I know I came back from the dead to train you. But this fight tonight is pure insanity. No way, Apollo. You just want to move. You blew it. Easy, easy, easy rock. Not too many syllables. I got lightheaded there. <laughs> hey, look, listen, I still got the eye of the tiger. You know that. Look, Rocky, you got the eye of a tiger and the IQ of a lima bean. You're not going to be fighting a man tonight. You'll be fighting an animal. Animals don't scare me. Yeah? Well, this one will. <laughs> Rocky Balboa! And in the looper, the undisputed champion of the world, let's give it up for Grace Find me sexy. Uh, I said, do you find me sexy? Well, you tell you the truth, Grace. He's trying to scare me a little, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Then I guess it's gonna be mine, Rocky! What is that smell? 
Dog, I gotta quit eating them pig's feet. My gas is kicking up. I will take you away from all of this, my love. Oh, my God. There's a man in my bedore. And I feel vulnerable, and I'm almost naked up in here. Fear not, my love. I have crossed oceans of time to be with you. You so crazy, you could have just called. I want you to be mine for all eternity. Listen, you don't know what you're getting into, because I'm telling you, I'm just like a virus. Once I get in your system, it's hard to get me out. Wait, 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 uh-uh. I don't want you to see me like this. I just woke up. Let me put my face on. Time is of the essence. You do not have to put on appearances for me. I want to take you as you are. Look, you can have me now and have a hamburger, but if you wait, you can have a quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> but I want to show you things that you've never seen. Hey, word up, and I want to show you things that scientists ain't even seen. You must hurry. Daylight will be upon us soon, and I am a creature of the night. Hey, hold on a minute, because I'm a freak 24 hours a day. Give yourself to me by the crack of dawn, and we shall rule the underworld. <laughs> I must drink of your essence. Hey, word up. Then grab a straw, because you're going to drink it up. Clap on. <laughs> By the beard of Satan, it's Beelzebub himself. Clap off. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said you had crossed the seas and all that kind of stuff. Clap on. I didn't know I was going to find land ho. Clap off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who you calling a ho? Clap on. <laughs> First of all, I don't need no Eddie Monster looking with no Widow Peak fake wearing funky breaths breathing coming into my window when you weren't even invited with them random old tie clothes looking like Pee Wee Herman like he was on crack. White boy telling me that I don't look good. You're right. I'm not good enough for you. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> now, don't be ashamed just because you're a white boy. I mean, I don't mind having a little cream in my coffee. And I mean, look. No. And if you act right, I'll do you like the bean. You know what I do? Grind it up, huh? Grind it up. And I thought the crucifix was repulsive. Look, you don't understand. I'm a vampire. I have to have blood. Oh, okay then. What kind of blood you need? I got A negative or O positive. I got you. But you also have mirrors. I hate mirrors. You ain't got to worry about that. Look. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the time. I have to go sleep in my coffin. Look, you don't have to go nowhere. I told you, I got you. <laughs> Now let me rock your underwear. <laughs> what you do? Uh-uh, what you do? No, uh-uh. Oh no, don't do that to you. You're a freak. Fillet my soul. Fillet my soul. I give up. You win. But I have to do it with the window open. I love it in the sunlight. Okay, then. <laughs> let the world see. <laughs> Just too much for him. He got hot and just burn up. <laughs> Chalisa. Girl, yeah, I done burnt another one up, girl. I told you, I'll be rocking rails all over the country. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Your friend Pee Wee has been on a new adventure, which is why it's time to buy the new improved Pee Wee Dove. <laughs> even anatomically correct. That's right. Just like Fu Manchu. The new Pee Wee doll is a master in disguise. Not only that. <laughs> the new Pee Wee doll comes with Turbo Fist. So now Pee Wee can beat this doll. Kiwi 
he can beat most anything except a bum rap. <laughs> so hurry on down to your local toy store and pick up the new Pee Wee doll today. <laughs> <laughs> As always, pull my string and I'll talk. I have the right to an attorney. I have the right to remain silent. And what if I did some charity work instead? <laughs> yes, it's the new and improved Pee Wee doll from Sleezo. Pee Wee's Born House, trench coat, handcuffs, and bail bond sold separately. and welcome you to my exhibit entitled September Feelings. <laughs> the first painting I would like to draw your attention to is one I'm very proud of, and I call it Sun on My Shoulders. <laughs> Dream kids, and I am your wake up call. <laughs> Shield your eyes from this vulgarity. It's time to act up. Just let in, are you crazy person? Security! <laughs> Just don't understand. What's the matter with you? It's only a painting. Only a painting? Smoke screen, smoke screen, so the truth cannot be seen. <laughs> Let's look at it from a little different perspective, shall we? <laughs> Give it a little twist, and bingo, it's a big old tush. <laughs> this is not sun on my shoulder, it's moon in your face. If you don't mind, we'd just like to see the exhibit. Well, isn't that makeup on your face very interesting? <laughs> Was it uh, tested on little animals, little defenseless ones in cages? <laughs> this mean anything to you? Ow, ow, ow. Maybe somewhere there's a hamster, you know, uh, with purple eyeshadow, suffering and choking and falling off his wheel so you can look like Cleopatra, vivisectionist. <laughs> I swear, I am going to wake these people up today or my name isn't Kurt Sinjin. <laughs> this is intriguing. I believe the word is evil, people. Evil! This will come in real handy when they redecorate hell. <laughs> Can't you just feel the darkness, the dark forces working within it? It's enough to make a nun go bald. <laughs> this piece represents man's eternal quest to destroy the Alaskan king crab in his natural habitat. Either that or it's just a big ugly eye and I hate it. <laughs> I'm giving it a sty. Stop it, you idiot! Stop it! It took me four hours to create the great piece of art and you've ruined it! I've seen better art in the bathroom at Sizzler, honey. Cultural moron! I swear I could just park my nails in your face right now. Go ahead and try it. I dare you. <laughs> and what is this supposed to be? That's a light fixture. Shut up. <laughs> We're sending out the wrong signals, people. What is this sculpture saying to the children? Is this what they have to measure up to? Hey, kids, you're nobody unless you're part of the hip torso crowd. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're lopping off their appendages. <laughs> Listen to me. This 
cannot happen, people. We are setting an impossible standard here. Help me, please. Someone reach out. Danger, danger, doctor. I'm not moving until this piece of dreck is destroyed, or at least till his doodle is covered. <laughs> that is a beautiful piece of art. I don't care what you think of me, handsome. I have a quest. Vanish! What is this little display? It's my lunch. Well, nice use of color and composition. What's inside? <gasps> It's beef. <laughs> Somebody catch me. <sighs> Thanks a lot. What am I, nuclear waste? Doesn't anybody care? You people are really something. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I am just not going to go away. I am real, I am significant, and I'm going to make a difference! Excuse me, does anybody belong to that moped out there? Yes, gets me from A to B, so what? <laughs> so somebody backed over it. Sorry. <laughs> well, why don't we just frame it and stick it on the wall? It'll be proof that I once existed! <laughs> They're trying to silence us, people! It's time to act up! Why don't you get rid of me? I don't get rid of you! Excessive force! Excessive force! You're all witnesses! This is Boulder Dash! Homies, one stop, Carnival. Step right up. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up. Come on. Are you a real clown? No, I'm your daddy. That's the clown. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, little girl? Can you make me a balloon animal? Sure. How about a little doggy? Yeah. Yeah. Homie once had a little doggy just like this. His name was Palomine. Pet him. Palomine. P-A-L-O mine. <laughs> Used to love to play fetch the stick. Yeah, till one day a cop car came by and ran over his back legs. <laughs> he ain't no Palomine no more. There you go. Yeah? Listen, do you mind if I go first? I've got to get back to the stock exchange before four. Oh, sure. I'll let you go and bezel your mans while I struggle to get by off a minimum wage? I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. Have a seat, little children. Yeah! That's, uh. Woodpecker, Mr. Cheese. <laughs> That's, uh. Clown, Mr. Peckerwood. Do you mind if I, um, uh, if I, I used a check for this? Oh, you want to pay me with a check, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. And have me stand in line in some damn bank in a clown outfit, degrading and shaming myself to cash your little peanuts, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Pony, pony, pony. All right, kids. I'm homie the clown. Y'all ready to have some fun? Yeah! All right, what y'all want me to do first? Oh, homie, 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 homie. What? Now do a silly clown dance for us. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, degrade myself, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you could slip on a banana peel and fall on your butt. <laughs> fall down, bust my skull open, have my blood and brains ooze out on the carpet so you can get a couple of cheap laughs, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. I adore children. I love being with them. I, I love taking care of them. For me, it's... it's the next best thing to actually being a mother. Coming from 20th Century Fox, the fist that rocks the cradle. A tale about a parent's worst nightmare. As you know, we've already interviewed several potential nannies for our children. And since you weren't referred to us by an agency, we were wondering, could you tell us what your qualifications are to be a nanny? Well, I'm a five-time women's world bodybuilding champion. 
and I can bench press 240 pounds. I've always wanted to have children of my own, but a few years ago, during a crazy bodybuilding fad, I had my uterus made into a tobacco pouch. Care for a pinch? They wanted the perfect nanny. She wanted the perfect family. What's a girl to do? <laughs> You're my baby now. My baby. You won't be hungry anymore. Let's see if I'm lactating. <laughs> Soup's on. La 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 You call that suckling? Come on, baby. Go for the burn! La 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 See anything interesting? There are heard noises. What are you doing? I was just making myself a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and testosterone. But I can save it for the second course. Why don't you just admit it? When you make love to your wife, it's my face that makes you shiver. You're a state bank. How come you're so nervous? Is there something about the way I move that you find distracting? No. Maybe what you need is a potent aphrodisiac. I'm not the passion pit. Now you're starting to loosen up. What is going on here? I am not going to let you steal my family. God, look. She's landed on the picket fence. And they're finally over. But little did they know, their nightmare had only begun. Like I said, no pain, no gain. 242, 243. That's it, baby. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> the fist that rocks the cradle is the fist that rules the world. Go for the bird. Yeah. Check it. VIP. Let's kick it. All right, stop. While I do up my laces, this kind of thing happens every show. Yo, I gotta learn how to tie a bow. What's your real name? Robert Van Winkle. Why did you change? Nothing it? rhymes with Winkle. Pump, pump, pump. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm white, and I'm capitalizing on a trend that's currently rising. Mix it with Curly and Larry and Moe. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, yo. When's it gonna stop? Maybe never. I become richer with every endeavor. I'm living large and my bank is stupid because I just listen to real rap and stupid. <laughs> Short and stout. Go vanilla ice, put it out. Yo, I ain't stupid. I just stupid. Word to your mother. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not be alarmed. There seems to be some sort of system malfunction here. My name is Anton. I'm a victim of society and an entertainer. I will keep you company until the problem has resolved. Let me wipe that on there for you. Major case. Well, Your Honor, okay? Last Wednesday, I noticed we were running low on beer. 
I go back to my freezer, one of the finest freezers in Southern California, man. Objection, Your Honor. That's pure conjecture. Sustained. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you. Mr. Jackson, I, I wonder if you wouldn't be so kind as to do the honors with the turkey. Hey, I ain't never done nothing with no turkey before. Who told you that, Clarence? He's lying. Okay, once, when I was desperate. And the turkey kept cheating me, going gobble, gobble, gobble. You describe a uh, white silk scarf in your book. I've always had a fondness for white silk scarves. They're good for all occasions. Why don't you... Uh... Show me exactly what happened, so I flesh out the details. Maybe I can get pull all of the evidence I need. You're the cop. <laughs> he was all tied up, naked, and helpless. Oh, oh, oh. and um, then what happened? Then my girlfriend took over. Girlfriend? I think this was yours. You still got the flavor? Oh, it's the policeman. How you doing? Is that a taser in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, oh. Hey, look, I wish I could see you, but your voice sounds lovely. Okay, then. Well, if you think the voice is milky smooth, wait till you see the whole package, you're gonna freak. Is that right? Oh, I love a freak, too. Hey, look, why don't you tell me what happened between you and Derek? Okay, then. Well, first of all, I stripped down to my unmentionables, right? My Victoria's secretion. <laughs> I know you like that, right? Oh, God, yes. And then I creeped up on him like I was a gorilla in the mist. <laughs> I got down on him like he was a helpless rabbit. Ooh, hunt me down and take me, sugar. Hey, like a bowl of grits. <laughs> hey, is that a... Hey, I thought cops only carried a 38. Well, baby, what you're dealing with here is a 357 Mac. Hey, Dirty Harry. Sure, guys. Look, why don't you make my day take off this blindfold? Let's play a little show and tell. Okay, then, hey, that's my song. Show and tell. Just the game I play. When I want to say, I love you. A freak. I don't want to be with a damn freak. Come on, don't you want to bump uglies? Bump uglies? Bump uglies? Yeah. Honey, look like you took ugly face on. First of all, why are you tripping like that? You know I'm your love beast. Love beast, huh? Somebody left a cage open at the zoo. That's for damn sure. You tripping now? Why are you tripping now? You don't make. Ah! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! I ain't gonna shut up. I ain't gonna kill you. I just gotta pick something out of my teeth. Oh God. Oh, I thought you were gonna kill me. And then you know what I'm gonna do? What you? I'm gonna rock your world. Kill me. Stick it right oh, in the neck. You're so crazy. Hey, please. Wait a minute. First of all, what happened to the 357? Yo, shoot me in the eyes. What's going on, good boy? See, I had this problem all the time. They always get nervous and stuff because they can't handle this type of woman. I'm too much for them. But what we need to do is just relax ourselves. Then I'll let you imagine what you've been missing. Yeah. 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 Why don't you give the devil his dues? Yeah. 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 Where you going? Where you going? Yeah. Where you going? Yeah. I lied. I lied. Dad wasn't killed. We were scared to death. Yeah. gonna rock his world to no. <laughs> Police 
supposed to fly that close to the mountains? Mother of God, no! Day 37. The food ran out two weeks ago. Our only hope for survival was to consume the other victims of the crash. Then this morning we saw a figure on the horizon. At long last, could this be our salvation? Oh, thank God you've come to help us. <sighs> That's right! I've come to help you trim down to a slimmer, healthier you! Oh, Richard Simmons? Oh my goodness! What are you doing? Give me that butt. You might as well go eat a jack-in-the-box. Ooh, I got a hair in my mouth. That's what you get for eating Italian. I've been eating brains myself. Haven't you heard? A mind is a terrible thing to taste. I brought you something that's going to change your lives. The Richard Simmons plan a meal system. Here's how it works. You eat a person from economy class for breakfast. Someone in coach for lunch. Ooh, and a sensible first class passenger for dinner. I like dark meat. And you're going to have to find passenger 57. See how easy it is? Oh! Food can be your friend. But this food was my friend. That's the spirit! Now get off those patooties, it's time to exercise! <laughs> I think I'm alone here. I thought you were a big, strong soccer team. Hey, I've got an idea. Come on. Let's play a game. You better try to stop me. I'm gonna score. Tony! <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot. You shouldn't play with your food. <laughs> Not when you can exercise with it! <laughs> Look! I found a thigh master! Uh, uh, I can feel my buns turning to steel! You're really, really starting to look good to me now. You bet I am! Nice lead. Uh, thanks! Stop it, you man. Stop it, I'm blushing! <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone's combining fruits with their proteins! Ah! 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 He never forgot Richard and all he did for us. He was the first hot meal we'd had in weeks. Hey, can I help you? Hiya, Johnny. Uh, the name's Jimmy. Jimmy, Johnny, Joey. What's in a name? Anyway, give me a double dip, black and white. And... Hey, Johnny. Don't forget the cherry. Sprinkles on there. Ta-da! Cherry. Have you a dollar? A dollar? Well, I thought it would cost a quarter. Oh, fiddlesticks, I just spent my last buck at the picture show. All right, I'll tell you what, just give me the quarter. Bring the rest when you come back, okay? Oh, Johnny, you're the greatest. I was nothing, a nobody, a bum in the street, but you came along and picked me up, dusted me off, and turned me into something special. I'm yours, Johnny, forever. <laughs> Look, lady, thanks a lot, all right? Just um, enjoy your ice cream, bring me my change when you can, all right? Oh, Johnny, I could never repay you. Not after what you've done for me. Oh, Johnny, the two of us will be great together. We'll be thick as thieves, like birds of a feather, two peas in a pod. We'll board the next train to Niagara. Train to Niagara? Train to Niagara, slow boat to China. Oh, Johnny, I'd go to hell in a handbasket with you. Look, lady, that's enough. Hey, yo, yo, Larry! Larry! I'm gonna take my break now, man. I'm out of here. Lady, there's help around. Seek it. Wait! Johnny, don't go. I've got the double dip blue. So it really makes no difference which cone I choose. Please hold the sprinkles. You see, I don't think I'll ever, ever lose this double dip of rotten blues. I had a bad long. I cry.
by the Ruby River over the news. I'm hoping that one day I'll make a new Sunday. Set them up spoons for two. Until then I'll be double dip blue. So long, Johnny. See you in my dreams. When I was a little girl, I would pretend I was a princess trapped in the tower, and then this knight on a white horse would come charging up and rescue me. Could you tell me how to get to Beverly Hills? Sure. For five bucks. You can't charge me for directions. I can do anything I want to, baby. I ain't lost. All right, okay. If you were charmed by Pretty Woman, you're gonna love the sequel. Pretty Buff Woman, starring champion female bodybuilder, Stila <laughs> DeMilo. Woman. What are you up to me? <laughs> <laughs> 